For some time now, I've wanted to do a strength test on various different tubes to see what would actually happen if a shell got stuck in the tube and exploded inside the tube. I'm gonna start with this HDPE. This is what they recommend to use. If a shell were to get stuck in here, it's supposed to just expand and not have any small pieces. I've also got some PVC to try. This is what they say not to use because if a shell were to get stuck in here and explode, it'll cause little pieces of the PVC to go flying everywhere. And with the shell kits that I bought, one came with fiberglass and another came with, I think it's cardboard, so I will be trying those as well. The PVC that I'm going to be using is Schedule 40, whatever wall thickness that is. Here's a comparison to the HDPE. And here's a comparison of the HDPE with the fiberglass and the cardboard. The HDPE, I'm not really concerned with shrapnel, so I will be doing an open test on that. But the PVC, fiberglass, cardboard, I am worried about it kind of throwing material. So I will be doing a, a box around that test. Um, I'm just going to be taking two of these quarter inch plates, uh, one for the top and one for the bottom and just taking a, a three inch piece of tube steel in the middle and welding that on. And then on each side, drilling a, a spot for threaded rod to go through and kind of just sandwich those two plates over the tube. So hopefully that, that mortar shell won't be able to go anywhere and it'll actually end up exploding in the tube. Here these are all welded up. And because I don't have a lot of experience welding, welding these little cups in the middle here, it did draw the sides up so now they have a little bit of a rock. They're not completely flat. But everything, all the holes still line up, so I'm not worried about that. This is just an example of what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna have a much larger piece of plywood on the bottom here, but everything else is gonna be the same. I'm leaning towards putting double nuts up top here just because that gives it a little bit of extra threads that it can hang on to because the tube and the threads is probably the, the things that I think are the weakest on this right now. Because I am worried about the safety of this, I'm actually trying to make a mortar tube fail that is pretty sketchy, so I'll be taking this to a large empty field. That way, if something does go wrong, I don't have to worry about hitting someone else's house, hitting somebody else. And because this test is pretty dangerous, I don't wanna be anywhere near it when it goes off. I will be firing it remotely using this wireless firing system. I think this has a, a range of like 900 feet, so I think that'll be plenty of distance. If I need more, I've got extra wire to use. Essentially, I'm going to be sitting with the box and then at the test site is going to be this P4 module and it's going to be connected to a firewire initiator and that's how I'm going to be setting this off safely. Because these tests are super sketchy and the probability for injury is super high, as obvious as it is to me, I feel like I still need to say, please don't try this at home.
For this first HDP tube, I used a Dream Team shell and nothing really happened to the tube. It's just, just like soot all over it. That's about the only thing that happened. The, the tube's intact. This is the one that surprised me the most. I didn't expect to see such a difference in between the shell and the canister shell. The shell made this effect and then the canister shell did this. And then after this happened, I was literally just standing there mind blown on how different the effect was in between the two. I will say, I think the tube did behave the way it was supposed to. This piece is two inches tall and the steel tube that I have is also two inches tall. So I think the explosion was just so fast that when it expanded this tube, when it hit that steel tube, it just sheared it off and then folded the rest of this over. This is an inch and a half PVC and for this effect, I used a small festival ball. And because I didn't have any extra plexiglass, I couldn't try the, the two inch with the, the Dream Team shell or the canister shell. And I'll be honest, I, I didn't really wanna try the canister shell in the PVC because if it had that effect on that HDP, I can only imagine it would be very sketchy with the PVC. And some of these pieces are pretty gnarly. I think what they say about the PVC breaking off in shards is definitely true, and I would not recommend this to anybody. I think this is cardboard. This is a tube that actually came with the small festival balls, so it was made for them. You couldn't see it in the video, but this top piece just broke out. That's, that's all that happened on this one. And then lastly, this fiberglass tube was actually the tube that came with the Dream Team shell kit. And I was a little bit disappointed. I thought the wind blew over my camera before I could get the shot, but here's the effect on that. Fiberglass tube is still intact. It's just charred at the top. Although it did break all the pieces of plexiglass I had, I think it's a little bit thicker than eighth inch plexi. I think it's almost like 3 16 And with this one, I was so confused because there was batteries laying on the ground. I guess the explosion was so much that it knocked the batteries out of the P4 module. I want to finish this up by saying I don't think that these are real world examples of what would happen. These are extreme examples. When you light off fireworks, you're not intentionally covering up the holes with steel plate. So if something were to happen like that lift charge failed or it just exploded in the tube it would have that opening to where a lot of that energy can be expelled so you might not even have some of these effects i feel like the image of this plus the fact that these explosions were able to bend quarter inch thick steel plate i'm not sure how much energy that actually takes but i'm pretty sure it's a lot those two things should really showcase the importance of safety when dealing with fireworks so please stay safe out there I want to say thanks for watching. If you thought this video was interesting, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to watch more videos, here are some options.